one, which is a comparative analysis of various string mat matching algorithms written by D.U. Vidana Gamma. And Dachyanti Udeshika Vidana Gamma is a probationary lecturer in the Department of IT, Faculty of Computing at this university. And her Master of Science in Management and Information Technology. Her teaching and research interests include rapid application development, object oriented programming, database management system, back technologies, e-learning, and XML database. Good morning, dear sir, and all of you. So I would like to show you my research findings on the topic of a comparative analysis of various string matching algorithms. So this is the content of my today's presentation. So first of all, I would like to give you a brief introduction on what is string matching is. String matching is a technique which is used to find the pattern within a given string. So there are different kind of string matching algorithms used for solving the string matching problem. Efficient algorithms can greatly reduce the response time of the software applications which uses the string matching. So by looking at this figure, you can see what is exactly the string matching is. So the text T is the text target string and the pattern P is the pattern where you want to search where the pattern is within the text T. So the string matching algorithms can be broadly classified into two main categories, exact string matching algorithms and approximate string matching algorithms. Extract st string matching algorithms are used to find where the exact pattern is within the target string. The approximate string matching algorithms are used to compare two different kind of strings and convert one string to another string by using some operations like insertion, deletion, and substitutions. So the problem of my research is how to select the best performed string matching algorithm based on the pattern length and the pattern placement within the given string. So my research objectives are to compare the execution time of the string matching algorithms based on the pattern length and the pattern placement position within the given string. So according to the literature review, I have identified five main exact string matching algorithms. Those are brute force algorithm, Boyamo algorithm, Boyamo hall spool algorithm, Knuth Morris Pratt algorithm, and Rabin Karp algorithm. So if we look at the first one, brute force algorithm, it doesn't require a pre-processing stage. So it is better for small patterns. It, the searching is starting from left to right. So if we move to the boy Moore algorithm, it requires a pre-processing stage to create the bad match table and the good shift table. So it is best for usual searching purposes because the lack of needless comparisons. So it requires some additional space based on the text or pattern size. It is fast for larger alphabets. If we move to boer moore hall spool algorithm, it also required a pre-processing stage because to create a bad match table. It is very fast and easy to implement. But it better performed than brute force algorithm. The searching is starting from right to left. If we move to Knuth Morris Pratt algorithm, the pre-processing required to build a prefix table. So you see easy it is easy to implement and it is better for larger patterns. Again the searching is start with leftmost character. If we move to rabin karp algorithm, again it requires a pre-processing stage to calculate some hash values. So the performance of that algorithm is depend on how the hash value is calculated. So let's move to the research model and hypothesis. So this is my research model. It contains three independent variables and one dependent variable. So the independent variables are pattern length, algorithm, and the pattern placement position. The dependent variable is the searching speed. So there are five basic hypotheses. 
So my hypothesis, first three hypotheses are going to test the dependent between the pattern length algorithm pattern placement and with the search in speed. So the additional two hypotheses are going to test the interaction between the pattern length and the algorithm and the pattern placement position of and the algorithm. So these are the five basic hypotheses which I'm going to test. So if we move to the research methodology, here I use the processor of 2.5 gigahertz Intel Core machine and the RAM with 4 GB RAM. So here I use the target string of 400 words and 2,466 characters, including spaces, commas, and end of line separators. So all the, f all the functions are written in Java language, and the time measurement is used by nanoseconds. And the process is done for the increased size of pattern length and the different pattern placements of the pattern within the target string. The process is repeated for 30 iterations and the arithmetic mean was taken for the analysis. Here I use four basic extract stream machine algorithms for this research. Those are brute force algorithm, knuth morris spread algorithm, rabin Karp algorithm, and the boyer hall spool algorithm. So if we move to the analysis part here, I use SPSS20 software to do the analysis. And the two main statistical techniques which I use are two-way ANOVA and the Turkey HSD test. So the two-way ANOVA is used to compare the mean differences among and between the four algorithms, pattern lens and the pattern placements. Turkey HSD test is used to find the comparisons between the independent factors which has a significant difference of mean time. So let's move to the results. So first of all, we'll see the comparison of algorithms and the pattern length. So by looking at the graph, you can see boyer hall spool algorithm has the lowest marginal mean time, and the rabin karp algorithm has the highest marginal mean time. So when the pattern length increases, it shows that mean time decreases in knuth morris pratt algorithm, and the mean time increases in rabin karp algorithm. So by looking at the graph, you can see knuth morris pratt and the brute force gets slightly close when the pattern length is increasing. So if we move to the comparison of algorithms and the pattern placement, it shows that when the pattern is at the beginning of the target string, brute force algorithm has the lowest mean time and the knuth morris pratt has the highest mean time. So when the pattern is moving from the beginning to the end, it shows that mean time increases in brute force algorithm. So when the pattern is at the end of the target string, it shows that rabin karp algorithm has the highest mean time, while the brute boyer hall spool shows the lowest mean time. So let's move to the five hypotheses. So by looking at this table, you can see that H2 hypothesis which tests the dependence between the pattern length and the algorithm, it shows that the hypothesis do not reject, so there is no statistic statistically significant difference between the pattern length and the mean time. So all the other four hypotheses are rejected. So that means statistic there are a statistically significant difference in mean time between the algorithms, between the pattern placements, and also there is a stati statistically significant interaction between the algorithm and the pattern length and also there is a significant different interaction between the algorithm and the pattern placement. So by looking at the Turkey HSD test results, it shows that there is a statistically significant difference between the mean time of all the four algorithms but except between knuth morris pratt and brute force algorithm where it shows very small difference at larger pattern lengths. Also there is a statistically significant difference between the mean time of all the pattern placement positions. So finally these are the conclusions which I made from my research. So if we take about the features it shows that boyer hall spool algorithm is very fast and easy to implement. If we move to the pattern length, boyer hall spool and knuth morris pratt algorithm, if we take both, it shows very small differences. For pattern length, 
and the brute, brute force algorithm is good for small patterns and if we move to rabin karp algorithm if the pattern length is increasing that algorithm shows very slow and also if we take knuth morris pratt and brute force together it is possible for larger pattern lengths so if we move to pattern placement brute boy more whole spool and knuth morris pratt algorithm again both have small differences on pattern placement positions also if we move to rabin karp algorithm it is very slow when the pattern placement position is moving from start to the end so finally uh, what i conclude is what i give a conclusion is based on the purpose you can use each of these algorithms for exact string matching but based on the pattern length and pattern placements there are so many differences in between these four algorithms so from that i would like to conclude my presentation thank you all of you.